you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to perform a brief demonstration using Ruckus Smart Zone's Spectrum Analysis tool to help us identify spectrum usage in our environment. So here we are, we're logged into our Smart Zone controller. It is a Smart Zone high scale running 5.2. Uh, I just quickly want to take a look at the access points and show you what I've got set up uh, for them. We've got two access points, um, both under the uh, demo domain one, under the team zone. Um, and we can see that actually only one of these APs, uh, AP1, is actually um, propagating a signal. Uh, it's only running on 2.4 gigahertz on channel 11 specifically. I'm doing this because I'm trying to set up a test scenario where you can see some actual spectrum usage and I want to make sure that uh, we've only got one AP to hit and I've situated them close enough together that they should be able to de detect each other pretty well. So uh, we've got one AP. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the spectrum analysis. Uh, we're going to go under troubleshooting and we're going to select our type of troubleshooting that we want to perform as spectrum analysis from the drop down list. Um, the next step is to select an AP MAC address. So I'm going to choose select here and then I'm going to expand the domain in the zone um, in which I want to select the AP from. So you can see under team XX zone, I've got two AP shown, but only one of them has a uh, check mark next to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in this one because this is the only one that supports uh, spectrum analysis mode. So the R310 that we have here, as you can see, does not have a checkbox. Uh, therefore, it's not going to be able to support the spectrum analysis mode. So once you've selected the AP that you want to perform the analysis, go ahead and choose OK. And then our next option is going to be selecting which band we want to take a look at. By default, 2.4 gigahertz is the uh, is the band, but you can select 5 gigahertz uh, if you want to take a look at the spectrum uh, for that band. Um, if you do specify 5 gigahertz, you're going to have to additionally specify which segment of the 5 gigahertz spectrum that you want to take a look at. So you can see we have lower, middle, and upper. Um, lower is channels 36 to 64, middle is channels 100 to 144, and upper is channels 149 to 165. So an additional step if you want to look at the 5 gigahertz spectrum. But we don't, in this case, uh, as we said, we've only got 2.4 gigahertz selected here. Um, there's some additional options. So I've, I've went back and I've selected 2.4 gigahertz and there's some additional options for the way we can display these graphs. I'm going to leave these as default um, for right now and I'm just going to go ahead and choose start. Once we choose start, it's it's giving us a little message saying, hey, uh, you know, when you enable this, you're going to be able, uh, you're going to rather prevent other APs from joining that particular AP. Is that fine? And, and in this case, yes, it's fine. It's not a big deal. So, um, now, now we're waiting. Now we're waiting for data to appear. So I'm actually going to let this run um, just so we can get the both the uh, real-time FFT and the swept spectrum to populate. Um, and then I'm going to come back uh, once it's done, and then we're going to go ahead and run a test so we can see the spectrum usage. Okay, so uh, we've let this run and populate. So the top graph is kind of showing us um, maximum utilization in a, like a temperature dot throughout the entire spectrum through channels 1 through 13 here. So these these dots are the, uh, the highest detected signals. Uh, we do see stuff around channel 1 and we see stuff around channel 11 and we see a little bit of stuff around 6 not a lot the uh, the black line is kind of the current um, where, where you're currently seeing the most energy uh, through this chant through these channels and then the the swept spectrum is like the waterfall so a lot of the spectrum anal analysis tools will, will paint the waterfall for you so again um, darker colors here are showing um, like the waterfall of, of signal that they're detecting. So what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to start a, um, 
uh, I wanted to do a speed test from my phone so we could see if uh, that would generate generate enough RF for you to be able to detect, you know, where in the spectrum this is happening. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, and we will watch that test run. So I, I went ahead and performed the uh, speed flex test from my mobile client and you can see uh, the waterfall painted almost solid across uh, channel 11 here. So we can see that the, the phone connection that we had to the AP, it was definitely detecting that signal over uh, channel 11. I've stopped it now so it'll start to kind of fade away here, but in both the real-time FFT and the swept spectrum, we could definitely see heavy usage over channel 11. So this is what you would use the um, you know, the AP uh, spectrum mode to kind of try to find in your environment. Again, this is something that a, uh, a support engineer or an admin can run remotely. So you could be in a different city and you could just run spectrum mode from a different, uh, or from an AP just to see, you know, what you kind of see in your environment. Um, and we do recommend kind of like if you're if you're using this, you should use this to validate, you know, uh, if you need to do additional uh, testing. So typically, um, purpose-built spectrum analyzers are more sensitive um, to to the noise so they'll display even even greater detail but this is a good way to determine whether or not you need to set something like this up in your environment thanks for watching and we hope that you'll join us for future video content